All right, everybody, it's Mark J. Larson Outdoors here. I'm doing another cooking video. I've been uh, getting a lot of replies, and people are liking my cooking videos, and they think I'm a good cook, I guess, so I don't think I do too bad. So what we're making today is going to be beaver, beaver barbecue. I have a back of a beaver right here. You can tell that the back straps have already been taken out. I've got it seasoned with uh, seasoned salt, cracked pepper, and uh, garlic salt. Then I got a medium sized Vidalia, sweet Vidalia onion here that I'm going to put in. So what I'm going to do, this has been seasoned on all, all sides. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the crock pot here. Put it in there like that. Then I'm going to cover it with some water. I'm using warm water just so it doesn't take quite as long. Get a little bit more water. I want to kind of cover it. And what this is going to make its own broth. So whenever it is done and coming off the bone, then uh, I'm going to strain this and I'll actually add some of the broth back into it. Go ahead and put the onions in there. Get them down into the water. I might, I think I'm going to throw a little bit more water. I just want that to be covered. very simple recipe but I, it's really good. I've done it a few times. I mean I have the back straps out of this already so I'll cook them on the grill or something some a different way but I do this with the backs. I also do it with the ribs. I, as you notice I've I got the ribs already cut off of that. I use the bone saw and just cut the ribs off and then I'll package them like that, freeze them like that, vacuum seal them and then I'll put them in the I'll put them in the same way and then just let them cook here for about two hours, two or three hours, whatever it takes to get the meat falling off the bone. And then what I'm going to do is I'll take it out, let it cool, take all the meat off, put it back in a crock pot, add a little bit of broth, about a half a jar of salsa, and a um, half a bottle of uh, your favorite barbecue sauce. And then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get going on it here when, once I take it off. It's going to be a few hours now and when I take this out of here and then I'll I'll bring it back when I start taking it off the bone and putting it back in the crock pot. Stay tuned. Alright everybody we're back here. I'm turning it off the crock pot. It's been in here about three and a half hours. Actually four and a half hours. It took a little bit longer than I thought. I'm going to pull this beaver back out of here now. The meat's falling off the bone. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to let it cool so that I can take the uh, take the meat off the bone. I'm going to strain the broth into the strainer and into this pot. And I'll put the onions back in here. So I got the onions strained here, and then when uh, when this cools down a little bit, I'm going to put that back into the crock pot with the onions. I'm going to save this broth that's in this pot here, and then uh, I, I probably will add some more of this liquid back to it. And I'm going to I'm going to add some like a half a jar of this salsa. And then I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. So once this cools down, I'll start pulling this meat and, and I'll bring you back. So uh, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back up to speed when, I, when this cools down. Thanks for watching. Alright everybody, we're back. I, put, I shredded the beaver off of the bone. I took it all off the bone, put it in the crock pot here. As you can see, I didn't... There's not much left of it. There is a lot of meat on these beaver backs. Granted, this was a 72-pound beaver, 
and this is only half of the back, but a friend of mine gave it to me. He, he trapped it, so I got, I'm going to put some salsa in there. Put about half that jump of salsa in there. I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's. It's one of my favorites. You can use whatever kind you want. Squeeze a bunch of that in there. That should do it. And I'm going to, this broth that I strained, after I took it out of the crock pot, I'm going to pour just a little bit of that in there to add just a little bit of moisture, a little bit more to it. And if I don't like that, I'll, I'll add more. I'm going to go ahead and stir that in, see what it looks like, and then see if I need to add any more moisture, any more barbecue sauce. This is going to be just like beef barbecue, I, I guarantee you that. I mean, I've had it before, I've cooked it like this before, and it's just amazing. It looks like, uh, looks like I need just a little bit more barbecue sauce. See how we do here. Oh yeah, that's that's looking pretty good there. Looking really good. It's gonna be tasty. What I'm gonna do now that I've added this back to it, I think I am just gonna add just a little bit more broth. Just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn this crock pot on the low and let this warm back up since I let that meat cool down so I could take it off the bone. I'm just going to let this warm back up and then, uh, then I'll uh, plate it up and I'll tell you how I think it is. I, I know it's going to be good. It smells delicious right now. So stay tuned. I'll be back with a finished product. Thanks for watching. Alright everybody, we're back. I got this uh, beaver barbecue warm back up. I'm going to plate this up for you and take a little taste test for you. Oh man, it smells delicious. Let's see what it looks like here. It's just like pulled beef. Put that on the bun there. You can see the onions in it and the tomatoes and all the stuff from the salsa that I put in there. We're going to plate that up. I got it with some baked beans. I'm not going to lie, I didn't make the baked beans. They're Bush's baked beans out of a can and some chips with it. Um, it's just like any other summertime barbecue or whatever. And this is so quick and easy. I mean, I, I did this in a crock pot because I know everybody has a crock pot. I could have probably put that beaver back into my pressure cooker and done it in less than half the time. But I know everybody's got a crock pot, so I figured I'd use that. Um, or you could put it in there and put it on low before you go to work in the morning, come home, and it's just that easy to have a nice, really good meal. So, I'm going to take a taste of this. Let you see what I think. Mm. It's delicious. I hope you'll try this recipe because I really like it. I've had it more than once and I've been having people ask me about it so I figured I'd make this video. So uh, if you do like this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, hit the notification so the next video I put out you'll be immediately notified and then uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing. I mean I've been doing a lot of cooking videos lately because you know it's not trapping season or hunting season right now so I'm going to get back into the trap preparation and I'm going to have a video coming out on uh, how my coyote hides come out. I, I just got, I'm working on the last two right now and they're almost done, probably be done by this weekend. I'll have a video out for you for that. So really appreciate everybody watching, appreciate your support for all my uh, older subscribers that have been sticking with me and I mean we're climbing, we're going to grow this channel and uh, Anybody new to this channel, come on in and, and hit the subscribe button. Like I said, it doesn't cost you a dime. 
and uh, hit the notification bell so you'll be able to see my next uh, videos as soon as they pop up. So, till the next one, good luck with everything, guys.